So yeah, it was uh, the John Cena 20th anniversary show on Raw, and uh, they had these video packages throughout the show of of people talking about John Cena, and like the entire show was built around him. He showed up, everybody congratulates him. They had segments backstage where people put him over and talked about how he'd influenced them by saying never give up. And among the uh, the videos were uh, comments from Brian Danielson, Chris Jericho. And the former Big Show, Paul White, all of whom obviously are currently with AEW, and these were these weren't old archive no, no, videos. No, this, stuff, this was stuff that was. Taken. I mean, this yeah, was no. this was brand new footage of yeah, AEW Tony. guys on WWE TV putting over John Cena. Yeah, Tony Khan obviously gave everyone the okay to do it. Um, I mean, I can I could see why he would. Number one, if they asked, you know, he wouldn't say no um i know when uh you know the whole thing there was a lot of controversy when jericho did the austin show um you know of letting his guy you know on his his one of his top guys maybe at the time his top guy go on the wwe network but i think that in hindsight almost everyone from an AEW standpoint uh would say that that was beneficial to AEW. so why not why not have those guys on um if if the situation was reversed and it was the 20th anniversary of or the 30th anniversary celebration for chris jericho and which they actually did um but something like with chris jericho or or brian danielson for that matter you know if they did something for like the anniversary for brian danielson do you think that uh, Vince would allow his guys to do that stuff and reciprocate and I mean my gut says absolutely not 100% no um, but you know it's just it's two different people in two different positions and um, you know in the old way of thinking of wrestling you would you, sh you you would never allow your contracted guy to be on your opposition show but um, you know I I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with doing it um, it's just the way wrestling has always been in the past and and tony views wrestling very differently than the promoters of the past um you know whether that's good or bad um he does obviously because these guys were on so um yeah i thought i didn't know that i thought it was kind of a surprise and everything i mean it's actually a minor part of the show but it was a very interesting part of the show well, they brought out Vince McMahon, and uh, everybody cheered, everybody bowed. They got uh, people right there front and center bowing, and he got in the ring and uh, introduced John Cena. So they go to commercial, they come back, John Cena does a promo, and uh, to cut to the chase, he thanked everybody. He said, it was all about you. It's, it's, it's because of you that I got to do everything that I've gotten to do. I'm going to wrestle again, but I don't know when. And when I return, it will be for more than one match. And then he left. There was no announcement of SummerSlam. There was no angle with Theory. It was just, thank you. One of these days, I will come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did a good <laughs> that's he, it? He did a good all job. All this time, that's all they came up with was, hey, thanks. I'll be back one of these days. Well, they haven't shot the angle yet to bring him back. So, Holy smokes. I mean, why say, oh, I'm going to be back at SummerSlam before you shoot the angle? Shoot, shoot the angle. Well, the point is you could have shot the angle on this show. You could have. But I, I, like I said, I think the reason they didn't was because you don't want to overshadow this. You know, like, again, you don't want to overshadow this uh, pay-per-view coming up by shooting some big angle with John Cena. And then you get this pay-per-view that neither of them are on. So well, wait, until, guess. wait until after it's over, and then shoot the angle. Well, actually, uh, Theory is on the pay-per-view. It's Theory and Bobby Lashley. Against Bobby Lashley, so it just confuses the issue. So, yeah, that, that would be, you know, if he's going to wrestle Bobby Lashley and the big angle is with John Cena, it kind of negates the match with Bobby Lashley. Well, I mean, they did the stare down. And, and to be fair, I mean, when, when Cena turned around and Theory was there, I mean, the crowd did pop because now they're, they've are they been conditioned that that's going to be the big match. So, I mean, you've essentially already told people that that's going to be like the next big program. So Lashley is kind of in a sort of, yeah, well, you can a, have a match on Sunday. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Lashley's matter. in a lame duck situation because you know that, like, he can't, um, I can't, you know, 
he can't like destroy theory like you would think the way they that they've been booked previously that that Lashley would tear him up, and probably that's not going to happen um, because they have to protect theory to a degree. Maybe you know, the thing is, is Lashley still could win the title though because you know it's like it really doesn't benefit John Cena to be in a U.S. Championship match. So I mean, I could certainly see, or you could do something where Cena causes Theory to lose um, if he's going to show up on Sunday. Um, if you know to give some, to them something to you know something special or something. But the thing is, is um, you know you don't want to do the big angle right now because then why even do the Lashley match because it becomes the cold match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.